All right, I'd like to introduce you to my two friends. What's happened is we're all getting chronologically older by the minute, by the second. But none of us have to get physiologically or psychologically older, we can stay young. And I just want to share with you a very personal thing. My father, uh, he died of Alzheimer's pre-1999. And before that, we didn't know that you could regrow your brain cells. We always thought that once your brain cells were dead, that was it. Uh, 1999, they discovered neurogenesis, that we can actually regrow brain cells and make the brain connection between the brain cells stronger. So what I then started was a journey of study on how do I stay young, because obviously your brain controls everything, and what do you need to do to so that your brain doesn't run away like my dad's did. And what I found is that, and all the research is, is very strong on this, is that when you learn, laugh, huff, puff, lift, and that's become my mantra, so it's learn, laugh, huff, puff, lift, learn, laugh, huff, puff, lift. When you do that, you regrow brain cells that you've lost and you reconnect uh, the, or make thicker connections between the brain cells that you've already got. So you actually get smarter. So for a woman with blonde hair, this is bloody great information. <laughs> so these two folks are my two favorite uh, happy drugs that when you learn laugh, puff, puff, lift, you pump into your brain. And obviously we all, we've all heard of dopamine which is the reward drug. And a lot of kids now are addicted to dopamine because they get a, a ping on their phone or uh, they play a computer game or they, um, they have, uh, maybe the older kids, it's about getting picked on Tinder. So we feel really good when we've got dopamine in our brain, but your brain pumps most dopamine after you've gotten really puffed and after you've lifted really heavy because your whole hormonal system goes crazy and pumps dopamine into your brain. The big one, however, is this thing called brain-derived neurotropic factor. For us old people, chronologically older, this stuff's really important because it's a fertilizer for your brain. So the more BDNF you can pump into your brain, the smarter you get, the more your brain will expand, and obviously your brain controls everything, so you can exercise harder. So it's a beautiful circle of pump BDNF, feel fantastic, be able to train harder, and then get fitter, pump more BDNF. So my two favorite folks here, BDNF <laughs> and dopamine, are what we want to pump this morning. So are you ready for some learn, laugh, huff, puff, lift? Woohoo! <laughs> uh, the really important part of exercise now though, and you're talking to someone who's run 21 marathons and 17 half marathons, it's not the long distance that's important, it's the high intensity activity. The, the more puffed you get and the heavier you lift, the more you pump brain-derived neurotropic factor into your brain. So what we want to do this morning is get really puffed, not half puffed, not three quarters puffed, really puffed. But the beautiful thing is that when you go hard, you can't go for very long. So the harder you go, the more puffed you get, then you need to have a rest. So we're just going to interval train it between getting puffed and lifting heavy. So has everybody got their heavy thing to lift? I've got my gas bottle. Has everybody got their, their, their heavy piece of equipment? All right, we're off. So, learn, laugh, huff, huff, lift. Learn, laugh, huff, huff, lift. We're gonna just start with jogging on the spot. And if you are, uh, have a body that doesn't work particularly well, and I'll just get, give you another insight. Uh, obviously, as we get older, uh, uh, we need to keep, uh, your body needs to stay uh, fresh and young. But one of the things that we find a little bit more difficult to do is get on and off the ground. And you don't need to. What you need to do is make sure that you get puffed so you get to know your fluid through your joints and then you'll be able to do whatever you need to. So everybody should be jogging on the spot. Either keep your feet close to the ground. You can walk if you want to. Or you can get your knees up really high. And I've got the clock in front of me. We call it grade the clock. And we're going to do at just 10 seconds. But what I want you to do is put in the hugest effort ever. So on your mark, so it's, you can walk if you want to, feet close to the ground, or up really high. Are we ready? On your mark, get set, 10 seconds, go. Learn, laugh, hop, up, lift. 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 Gentle recovery time. Woohoo! <laughs> Get your breath back. And the analogy is this: if 
you ever done a number two in the toilet, press the button and the number two hasn't gone away, if you keep pressing the button, you don't get the full pressure back so the number two will get flushed away. Puffing's the same. You don't go again until you've got your breath back. When you've got your breath back, you can put full effort in again. Okay, this time we're gonna jump. So you're either gonna do low, or you're gonna do a little jump, or you're gonna do a really big high jump. Your choice. On your mark, get set, 10. Go, 10 seconds. High and fast. You can go high or low. You can just step if you want to. You can step little, or you can step over the fence. Bigger, higher, bigger, higher, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, harder, four, three, two, one. Active recovery. Now if you're not puffing, you're not going hard enough. If you're not puffing, you're not pumping happy drugs into your brain. To get puffed, to get fit, you've got to overload. When the toilet is filled back up again, we'll go again. <laughs> this time it's going to be one, two, three, jump on four, one, two, three, jump on four. So it looks like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But you're going to jump really high if you want to get a really big puff, little jump if you want a little puff, and if you just need to take it easy, that's cool too. So it'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, are you ready? 10 seconds, hard and fast, go. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Go. 1, 2, 3. Higher, higher. 1, 2, 3, 4. Woo! 1, 2, 3, 4. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. High. 1, 2, 3. Woo! Okay. Just squat. Get your breath back. Refill the system in the toilet. Can't go again until you've got full energy. Two half fills don't make a full fill. <laughs> the key is get your breath back, go again. Which is quite interesting coming from a lady who has done lots and lots of long, long distance running and now all the research is really clear. It's all about the high intensity activity. So closer to 60 than 50, very cool like all of us to be getting older but younger and fitter. Okay, this time we're gonna do those. That's the, the middle version. This is the low version. That's the high version. On your mark, get set, go. 10, nine, eight, higher, seven. If you're putting in a big effort, get high. Six, five, four, three, and active recovery. Now, when I say get high, I actually mean it. We are pumping the happiest, most powerful stimulation drugs into our brain. Uh, it, it's better than gambling, better than smoking, better than drinking, better than drugs. Some people would say better than sex. Not sure about that. <laughs> By the way, learn, laugh, huff, puff, lift. The last part of that is obviously love <laughs> and really, really important to get as much loving, physical and mental as possible. All right, we're going to sprint on the spot again. Hard and fast, you can walk it, you can jog it or get your knees up really high. On your mark, get set, go. 10, hard, 9, go. 8, harder, 6, fast, 4, recovery. Beautiful. Okay, grab your piece of, this is my green, which is broom. <laughs> Here's a serious rake for autumn. Goes very well. All you're going to do is put that thing on the ground and you need to jump over it. If you want to go low, just step over it. If you want to get pressure through your bones to make your bones stronger, then do little jumps if you want big pressure through your bones to get majorly strong bones. Big jumps. On your mark. Get set. Ten. Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Higher. Nine. You guys are legends. Let's go again. One. Very nice.
in. Put your thumbs up if you're getting really puffed. It should be difficult to breathe. You don't go again until it's easy to breathe. You've got to make sure that you get that recovery. The cistern in the toilet's got to fill back up again so you've got full pressure to go again. All right, this time we're going to jump forward and back. So you can step over and step back. Or you're going to jump, little, jump, little, or big high jump. Woo! When you come down, bend your knees so you've got some nice uh, flexibility through your whole body. So it goes up, bang. We'll do 20 this time because you guys are looking sensational. Ready? Go. 20, 19, 18. You can step if you want to. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Beautiful. 9, land with your knees bent. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, rakes away, lines away. Get your heavy thing out. So I've got my about 20 kilos here of Coles groceries. <laughs> Here in New Zealand, that's what we've been eating lately, just groceries. So, here's what we're gonna do. Pick it up, put it back down again. Pick it up, put it back down again. Actually put it down on the ground, so you're not squatting like you would normally. You're gonna pick that thing up, put it back down. Pick it up, put it back down. Pick it up, put it back down. Pick it up, put it back down. Notice that you bend at the hip, and at the knee at the same time, but your back stays straight. This is the great functional activity that we all do every day. Think workplace health and safety. Don't throw anything around, just nice and controlled. The beautiful thing is, I'm gonna keep going, you're using your arms to lift, you're using your upper back to lift, using your chest to lift. If you weren't using your abdominals and your lower back, you'd fall forward. You're using your butt, you're using all the muscles in your legs, including your calf muscles and your toes. And as it starts to get heavy, you'll start using your finger muscles and your face muscles and your toe muscles. Keep lifting. When you grab all the groceries out of the car, if you're still going grocery shopping yourself and you grab all the bags, just stop in the middle before you get to the kitchen and do as many of these as you can. Feet are slightly apart and relax, put it away. Okay, we're gonna box this time like you did with K-Man. So it's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Are you ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, You can just do little ones if you want to. Big ones and higher ones if you're super fit. Big high ones. Five, four, three, two, one more set, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Active recovery. Grab a drink if you'd like to. Thumbs up if you're getting puffed. Woohoo! <laughs> Give me a little knee lift as well, just to stretch out your butt cheeks. Okay, this time grab your heavy thing. So if you've got a gym bag full of books, that's gonna work great. Your groceries, I've got my gas bottle from the barbecue. One hand on your knee to support your upper back, but you don't have to. Grab hold of your weight, pull it, and push it. Bit like starting the lawnmower, I think. I do all the gardening at our place, so I'm pretty aware of how that works. So pull up, 
push down. Literally, push it down. Pull up, push down, pull up, push down. Notice again, we've done everything in the upright position. The human body functions 7% better in the upright position. Really silly to get down on the floor when everything that your body does better and more functionally and every muscle works harder in the upright position. Now the beautiful thing is if you can do more than 20, your weight's too light. Got to get a heavier weight, heavier child, heavier log, heavier bag of groceries, stick another bottle of soft drink in there. And what we're doing here is working every single muscle in your upper body, pulling and pushing. Actually pull it up and push it back down again. Pull it up and push it back down again. Guess what, two arms, you ready? Other side. Put your hand on your knee if you want to, otherwise just hold your body tight using your abdominals. Go, pull, push, pull. You guys are bloody legends. Pull, push, pull, push. Don't let it drop down, push it back down again. Pull it up, push it back down, pull it up, push it back down, pull it up, push it back down. We're gonna do five more, four, the idea here is to keep going till you can't do any more. You want to use all the muscles in your body. Keep pulling. Pulling is a great exercise, isn't it? Pull, push, pull, push. One more, pull, push. Beautiful. Just give your arms a shake, give your body a shake. This time we're going to use, again, your whole body. Ideally that weight's going to be as heavy as you can hold. Me with my trusty gas bottle. I'm gonna hold it like a bubba, and I'm gonna squat down, lift up, balance on one leg. Squat down, lift up, balance on one leg. And the reason for that, of course, is you wanna get, as we get more chronologically advanced, unfortunately, our balance goes. But not if you force your body to stay strong. So you have to start using one leg at a time, really important. Squatting with two legs is nice and firm and solid, but if you want to make sure that you've got plenty of balance, make sure that you use both legs singly. Okay, now this time, we've got five more each leg. One, and down, two, and down, three, and down, three, and down, beautiful. <laughs> four, and down, four, and down, it's that brain thing going on there. One more, each leg after this one. One more, each leg after this one. Woohoo! Beautiful. Now, just hold it. Now for really cool balance, we're gonna do just one leg. So hold the weight really close to your body. Make sure your abdominals are holding you in the upright position really strongly. Slight bend in one leg, and we're gonna balance out to the side. Make sure that everything's working here. It's not about this, the leg that's working is not the one that's moving. The leg that's got to be working really hard is the one that's on the floor. The other one's just giving you purpose to balance. That single leg on the ground, you want to get that really rock solid. As we get more chronologically older, we want to stay balanced and strong and powerful so we don't freaking fall over. Woohoo! Three more. One. Beautiful. Two, you got it. Three, guess what? Two legs, nice work, other side. Keep holding tight. Abs are holding you in the upright position to make sure you don't fall over. You work your abdominals the hardest to hold you upright. Other leg, go. Hold it, pull back. Hold it, pull back. Hold it. Now, solid, hold. We really wanna be balancing now on that other leg. The leg that's going out to the side isn't doing the work. It's the balancing leg that's doing all the work. Every single stabilizer in that leg is working really hard to make sure that you don't fall over. Really important exercise. As we get older, we don't want to be falling freaking over. Woo! Hold it. Hold it. Keep that leg off the ground if you can. Woo! Beautiful. You guys are legends. All right. Keep holding this baby, and both feet together this time. Down and up, down and up. See how functional this is. This is the way we carry stuff, of course, nice and safe. 
never ceases to amaze me how my very fascinating fitness uh, colleagues get people throwing things around. You don't want your joints to be aggravated by your exercise, you want your joints to get stronger by your exercise, yeah? So down as far as you can go, keep those abs in really tight, and we're going to do another round of puffing. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, woohoo! Okay, put the big baby away. Another round of puffing. We're going to do four to the front, four to the side, four to the back, four to the side. So we'll go around in circles. Again, really good to keep the brain active. On your mark, get set, go. So it's four, three, two, turn, four, three, two, turn, four, three, two, turn, four, three, two, turn and back. Woohoo! Active recovery. We're going to unwind back the other direction. Hard and fast, you young buggers. Get your knees up really high. If you want to just make sure that you're puffing, but you go fast, you can keep your feet close to the ground. But you young blokes, get the knees up high. Are you ready? To the front first, go. Four, three, two, turn. Four, three, two, turn. Four, three, two, turn. Four, three, two, woo <laughs> All right, get your breath back. This time we're gonna do four and a jump. Turn, four and a jump. So remember it's learn, laugh, huff, puff, lift. Learn, laugh, huff, puff, lift. So this is a bit of a get the brain going as well. So it's one, two, three, four, jump, turn. One, two, three, four, jump, turn. One, two, three, four, jump, turn. One, two, three, four, jump, turn, front. Are we ready? Get your breath back. Active recovery. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Isn't it just awesome to get puffed? How good does it feel? And the beautiful thing about getting puffed is we are literally pumping happy drugs into our brain and turning our body into a fat burning machine and a virus fighting machine. Other direction. One, two, three, four, jump. One, two, three, four, jump and turn. One, two, three, four, jump and turn. One, two, three, four, jump and turn. One, two, three, four, jump, turn. Woohoo! Nice. Breath back. Remember, upright position, every muscle works harder. Your brain works 7% harder in the upright position, and your muscles have to hold you in the upright position. All right, this time we're going to go two to the outside. Two to the inside. If you don't want to jump, just go out, come back in. Go out, come back in, go out, come back in. Otherwise, we're going jump, jump, in, in. Out, out, in, in. For 10, let's go. One, woohoo, and again. Two, and in. Three, and in. Four and in. Five. Woohoo! And in. Six and in. Seven and in. Keep going, we're nearly there. Two more. Nine and one more. Woohoo! And in. And active recovery. Keep the body moving. Thumbs up if you're puffing. The beautiful thing about getting puffed, it doesn't take very long. The next beautiful thing is everybody recovers at their own speed. So we've got to wait till that toilet fills back up again. Every house has got different water pressure. Everybody recovers differently. But you don't want to go again till you've got your breath back so you can go really, really hard again. All right, this time it's going to be three to the middle, one out. So it's one, two, three, and go right down. In. One, two, three, four. Come in. One, two, three, four. Notice you're going to come right down. So it's one, two, three, woo! Right down low. One, two, three, woo! One, two, three, woo! 
surgeon he said Mrs. Cesarum will have to run this test again it must be wrong you've got just slight osteopenia rather than advanced osteoporosis I'm sharing that with you because we got my mother to lift heavy things at 74 she died peacefully in her sleep at 98 everybody else in her family died under the age of 60 so think strong think powerful think young you ready we're doing it again 11 11 10 9 Eight, seven, beautiful, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other leg, no rest. Strong and solid, the back leg's just balanced. Go. Eleven, ten, I love it. Nine, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, beautiful. Now what's really cool, if you've got two lots, one will be heavier than the other. And that's usually what happens in real life, isn't it? We never have two equal weighted suitcases. The blokes usually have the lighter ones and me always got the heavy suitcase. So this time, if you've got two lots, we're gonna squat and come up, squat and come up, and again, your body's got to work really hard to balance because one, one of my weights is much lighter than the other one. So down, up, down, up. Please take note that you're working your arms, your shoulders, your upper back, your chest. Your abs are working kick ass to hold you in the upright position, stop you from falling forward. Lower back's working hard. Ass is working. Legs are working. Calves are working. Learn, laugh, huff, puff, lift. Learn, laugh, huff, puff, lift. If you can do more than 20, you've got to get a heavier weight. Rowie, if I can do more than 20, I've got to get a heavier weight. Weights away. Woohoo! All right, I'm just keeping an eye on the time there. What I would like to do now is finish off with some really hard and fast puffing. Remember, the harder you puff, the more brain-derived neurotropic factor you pump into your freaking brain so you don't get old. That's my goal. I watch my dad run away and I don't want it to happen to me and I bloody don't want to let it happen to you blokes. Are you ready? 
We're going to spring for 10, jump for 10. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, jump. 10, 9, you can just squat if you want to. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Breath back. We're doing five sets and we're done. That's one, we've got four to go. Let the toilet refresh. Can't get rid of that number two until the system's filled up again. Then you've got full pressure to go again. On your mark, get set. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, jump. 10, 9, breath back. You young blokes get those feet high up off the ground. Us younger people, <laughs> we're going to jump as high as we can. And if you've got challenges with your joints obviously, push hard with your arms as well. We've got three more to go. On your mark, get set, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! Breath back. Get your arms moving around. Oh, <laughs> I don't think there's anything better than puffing now that we've got a really good understanding of what goes on inside your brain when you puff. And when you lift heavy, remember it, your immune system's in your bones. You want those white corpuscles to be racing out to the germs, bugs, viruses and cuts and make sure they kill them. And those white corpuscles are created in your bones. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, jump. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, woo! Two to go. I need you guys to be jumping as high as you can. The more pressure you put through your bones, the stronger they get. This particular group of exercises works every muscle in your body, heart and lungs, hormonal system, cardiovascular system, skeletal system, muscular system, central nervous system. Ten, go! Ten, nine, eight, Seven, faster, six, go, 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 five, four, three, two, big jumps, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, woo One more, wait till the toilet fills up. The other really cool thing about getting puffed is your body then prefers to burn fat rather than carbohydrate. We only store half a kilo of carbs. When you're a sprinter, all you use is carbohydrate. So when you turn your body into a sprinting machine, your body saves the carbs to burn when you sprint, turns your body into a fat burning machine. So it's freaking fantastic. Ready, go, last one. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ten. message from my heart to yours that the more puffed you get the more you pump happy drugs into your brain the younger you'll be long slow distance equals long slow results hard and fast most women won't tell you that I want it hard and fast but the harder and faster the better <laughs> okay just relax stick your ass out 
hands on your knees and just get a really relaxed position. Keep your abs in tight and now roll up. And what you want to do is get a really good stretch through your back. Keep your hands on your knees. If you've got any kind of back challenges, you want to have support there. If not, take your arms out. But this part of your body's got to be in really tight. So roll it round. You want to feel a great stretch right through your upper back, lower back. Bring it up higher and press it out. So now it should be directly through your upper back. So good. Obviously the opposite to your back is your chest. I want to see your beautiful chest. Beautiful. Hands behind. Stretch it right out. If you want to, you can take it behind and press. But sometimes that's uncomfortable in the shoulder. And it's really interesting because I've been coming, obviously haven't been coming to Tally Ho as long as you guys have been going. But I think the first time I came was about 15 years ago maybe. And uh, obviously I've gotten 15 years more chronologically advanced as you all have. But I've never been fitter and never been stronger. And by the looks of today, you guys are all the same, which is bloody awesome. <laughs> all right, so some balance. Foot behind, I'll come out here. Take that foot behind and both knees are slightly bent. So you feel a stretch in your calf muscle. Keep your body in the upright position. When you do a lot of sprinting on the spot and a lot of jogging on the spot, a lot of jumping, that will give your calves a good stretch, obviously. And then gently this hip bone here, Press it forward. So now you'll take a little bit off the calf muscle, but you'll feel a stretch right through this quad here. This beautiful leg muscle here. Press it forward. Awesome. Woo Other side. So first the calf muscle, both knees are slightly bent. Push that heel down to the ground, keep the knee bent, and you want to feel it right through the back part of your leg, lower leg. And then once that's a, depending on how long you need to stretch, I bloody hate stretching, but I know it's good for you, so we're doing it. And now gently push that hip bone forward. So again, you don't have to get on the ground. So what I'm sharing with you is a lot of people stop exercising because they hate getting on and off the ground. For my mum, when she first started at 78, or sorry, 74, she just didn't want to. So we kept her in the upright position. She just got stronger and stronger. But the body works better in the upright position. All right, for some balance, if you haven't got the balance, though, grab onto something, which I might need to do. Uh, just bring your foot into your bum. I'll come up here. Your mind is your best weapon. That's what that poster says. And just, again, keep both knees slightly bent. And then gently push your foot onto your hand on your bent knee. And you should feel it right in the middle of your quadricep at the front. You want to feel that stretch right in the middle. Always when you stretch, it's the middle of the muscle belly. You don't want to be feeling it in the joint. Joints don't need to be stretched. They need to be strong. Muscles need to be stretched and strong. And obviously swap sides. So foot up, knees together, and then gently push your, this foot down onto your hand. And you should feel it right in the middle of your quad at the front, right in the middle of your, of your leg, at the top part of your leg. Woohoo! <laughs> Nice. I really would like to say that I'm coming to see you in Melbourne soon. I'm not sure when I can get out of New Zealand, but it would be a pleasure to come and give you, um, I don't know if we have to tap elbows and things now, but it'd be lovely to give you a big cyber hug. I love you guys. <laughs> okay, reach up high. Just get a full stretch right through the side. And rather than bend it over, and I've got some serious back challenges and I'm, this position is not nice, but just to stretch up high. Again, everything in the upright position where your body has to always work much harder. I always have a giggle, obviously came in fights in the upright position and often at training they say, oh, you should go down on the floor and do things. But we don't, our body doesn't work well in the, on the floor, it works well up. So get up, folks, get up. I don't know how that's gonna convert on the video, but that's okay. Get up. <laughs> awesome. Okay, shake it out. And ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, puppy dogs, we have just had a superb workout. Woohoo! 